Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Haven't posted in a while. Haven't really been doing a whole lot of queuing lately. So I thought I'd catch up and get ready for the holidays by giving this Traeger here, my old trusty Traeger from 10 years ago, a much needed tune-up. Now since we've been fortunate enough to get the Z-Grills, the Backyard Warrior, that thing has been an awesome smoker. The Traeger being just as capable, if not more, depending on the situation, and uh, just, just keeps on working doesn't give up but it started to get a little weak and I was kind of wondering what was going on with the uh, the innards the fire pod if you will and the hot rod so I uh, cleaned it out a little bit and looked in there and it looked like the fire pot was actually getting corroded uh, the holes are gaping now it's, uh, the metal's flaking so it's, it's time for a new fire pod and uh, hot rod now these things are relatively cheap to get online uh, I got a no-name brand fire the, the hot rod and the fire pot package deal 21 bucks couldn't beat that free shipping so it was at my door two days later now i'm going to go ahead and get it done so trigger does a much better job with the video of how to do this and i'll leave a link down in the description to them but uh for the sake of just showing you how my experience is uh let's let's get started all right guys the only uh, tools you're gonna need is a quarter inch uh hex driver a Phillips uh, screwdriver and uh, if you want you know you can get a cordless drill not a big deal so there's a couple of these screws here on each side that you want to take off and then you want to take this controller off and push it inside there uh, and then uh, make sure you empty out all your pellets I like to vacuum it out at this point and then um, this whole cover then just lifts right off <laughs> Okay guys, the old screws that came out of here were quarter inch and this new kit comes with these 5 16 ones so they also have a Phillips on the top there but I like to use the hex head here get a nice better torque on it. They're also a little bit larger uh, overall so it gives it a much better bite on there because uh, it is going to be kind of rusty. So if you want to use some WD-40 to help you in there that's fine just let it burn off. But anyway, let's get this back together.
Okay guys, when you got all this back together, all you gotta do is just kind of zip tie everything up to what makes sense. Give yourself enough room to maneuver this control panel back into place and then you're all done. You can put everything back together. All right guys, that's all there is to it. Uh, you put everything back together, and while you're doing that, this is a great time to do a little house clean, get some compressed air, some light compressed air, blow out all those cobwebs, dust, and things like that. Watch out for the fans. Now, a little tip. When I installed this little cart here a long time ago, I set it on its back, and then I had a wheeling, a wailing noise when I turned it back on. Turned out to be just the bearing for one of the fans. I tapped it with a screwdriver and the sound went away. Other than that, uh, this kind of little routine maintenance is all you got All you got to do. Keep this thing around for years. Guys, it's metal. That means you can replace it, you can weld it, and you can bolt onto it. So take advantage of that. Dirt cheap. I'll leave some links in the description for the stuff that I used. And anyway, guys, happy grilling. Make sure you get out there and get your smokers ready for the holidays.